next hydrant hydrant is outside the building you see you if you, you you can uh, find out this kind of thing outside the building you'll find the hydrants mm, it can be stand post type or different types uh, which is so for that we have NFP 24 it's not lengthy topic but one of one, this is also one important generally this hydrant will take care by the engineer who is taking a uh, care uh, system which is outside the building so this depend on scope so many times this hydrant is not comes under the uh, the scope of the fire fighting system means uh, it can be a separate uh, separate engineer or separate contractor for this hmm. anyhow we will discuss uh, about this in NFP 24 next fire protection fire protection equipments for different system hmm. First sprinkler, we have different type of sprinkler. Just have a look how the sprinkler in actual practice. We have different types also. This is a few. This is a bulb type. We have a fusible link type also, with the different thermal rating, with the different types, with the different uh, 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 different types as per the different application also. This is just example. Most commonly, this is called pendant, and this is on the screen. This is a recess pendant. This is pendant. I, I just have a question for that picture. Yes. Uh, is this? It, it looks like a PVC pipe. I mean, uh, I've never seen fire protection with the PVC pipe. Yes, yes. It's it's uh, it's not. Uh, you generally, you not find the PVC pipe. You'll find the black steel, or GI or mild steel. Okay. Yeah. But in some authority, in some location, this is also allowed. This is specially for branches, not for the main pipe. Flexible type. Okay. Anyhow, here. Schedule it. Ignore about this material. Huh. Schedule 40. 40. Okay. Anyhow, we have a separate topic for material. But at the time of installation, yeah. we'll discuss this point about the metal also. This is important, especially the class. Next, different types. So this type plus some more types we'll discuss in an FPA 13 when we start. So just have given the image. We have upright sprinkler, side wall. Again, we have this uh, different K values, K factor. All this we'll discuss. Next for fire hose with nozzle you see this is hose pipe this this is a canvas type nothing but uh, collapsible we have non collapsible rubber type also so this is called hose pipe and one end will connect to the valve called landing valve and other end will connect to the nozzle i think you have you have seen this nozzle next hose reel you see this is a this is also hose pipe but uh, non collapsible rubber type here you can find the nozzle also and this is called hose reel, this red color, hose reel. And this if you put in the box, that is that we can call hose reel cabinet. This is hose reel cabinet. But we have one more option, hose rack. You see, hose rack means it's applicable only for collapsible uh, canvas pipe only, not for non-collapsible. Because you need to uh, arrange like this, exact manner. So that in case of fire, we can easily pull out. Hose reel or hose pipe means it's a roller. Compared to this, is it can be easily pull out. So this is hose rack system. Hmm. Next we have alarm check valve. Hmm. Alarm check valve is a assembly. Hmm. Uh, in that you'll find some other components also. We'll discuss in detail with the drawing as well as with the images. Hmm. This is also important. You'll find in the main pipe you'll find alarm check valve. Hmm. When the water flows, uh, this will this will activate the gong and activate the system. And we have other control system also, not alarm check valve is only not responsible for activate. We have zone control valve, we have a pressure system, etc. Next, you see alarm con alarm check valve assembly. This will dis discuss in detail with the drawing also. This is just uh, to get the idea for you. Next, we have gong, motor gongs. This is a mechanical alarm. So whenever water flows, this will, this is like a bell. Hmm. <coughs> Again, at NFPA 72, we'll talk about this uh, alarm <coughs> Uh, alarm system so and uh, we have electronic type we have strobes etc next pressure switch hmm. pressure switch will also install in the system which will help whenever pressure difference this will help to activate the system next fire hydrant and landing valves you see hydrant this is stand post type and we have conceal type conceal type means with like a manhole cover hmm. you'll find the conceal but generally not recommended you'll find most of the you'll find this kind of thing next landing valve this is one way landing valve landing valve can be with the with the pressure uh, regulating switch uh, regulating option also hmm. this is a normal landing valve you'll find the landing valve with the pressure regulating option okay you can set the pressure as per the system requirement 
with this landing valve only but this on screen this is normal landing valve single uh, single way one way here we have two way landing valves next breaching inlet nothing but uh, semias or fire brigade connection so this is used to supply the water to the building from the fat tanker and the breaching inlet is to get the water inside the building in the standpipe system or uh, in the hosiery system etc mm. but this breaching inlet here the fire brigade from the tanker they used to connect the pipe to supply the water and now this pipe we can call as a dry pipe right because breaching inlet mm. na same as see ha to supply the water to the building mm. and remember the systems what we are going to design like sprinkler system stand stand up system etc is to control the fire till the fire, fire brigade arrive on site when the fire brigade arrive on site they have their own option they have their own options additional option is required to supply the water to the building also required okay because no system will give 100% guarantee to control the fire but in many cases sprinkler system is very effective the co2 system fm200 is very effective systems to control the fire and we have very uh, success uh, stories also uh, where control the fire without before reaching the fire brigade on site hmm. but no system will give you the guarantee to control the fire to 100 percent we are designing the system to control the fire till the fire brigade are on site so we are designing based on the probability hmm. so remember like in plumbing i think you know about the probability case hmm. at a time all the fixtures is not used similarly in the building if you talk about sprinkler system at a time all the sprinkler will not act, not, not activate except the special system called deluxe system that is only for special areas but if you talk about normal sprinkler system called wet sprinkler system will design based on the probability suppose 1000 sprinkler in one build one building will not design the pump to supply the water to all the sprinkler at a time that will be hmm. very very big capacity so it's not applicable and not required also so we are designing based on the probability hmm. so here is one example of a pump room hmm. you will find all these accessories and for that we have a separate nfpa 20 for this the installation accessories uh, churn pressure what 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 the different condition for testing etc interesting topic uh, nfpa 20 next for small project you may find the fire blankets also hmm. like a villa or a small areas fire blankets next tanks here is a under the uh, overhead tank i'm sorry not overhead tank it's a ground level tank generally you find the uh, underground tank hmm. it can be overhead also but most commonly as per standard underground tank hmm. and tank construction all comes under civil scope hmm. we are responsible for verifying that size and the connections hmm. and after that the uh, then 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 remaining connection to the pump and all is comes under mechanical scope. next fire detection equipment <clears throat> under fire detection system smoke det heat detector which is used to sense the heat with a different thermal rating in this we have different types also that we'll discuss in nfpa <coughs> 72 next smoke detector <clears throat> in this also we have different types hmm. or we have combine also option also okay so all this we'll discuss in nfpa 70 the last topic of uh, this uh, module so what are the things we are going to learn then what are the systems i think you got the idea okay so this is just a overview of uh, the training program what we are going to learn so in